Hello! Today I'm going to show you how to do the ever popular tilt shift effect. Uh, it is an effect that gives the appearance or illusion of miniaturization to your picture, or at least it's supposed to. This is my feeble attempt at doing exactly that. Um, uh, and I use a program called PhotoPlus X5 to accomplish this. PhotoPlus X5 is created by a company called Serif and uh, they make a bunch of great software packages um, that I've kind of fallen in love with. Um, uh, they do a lot, they do it easy, and the price is very, very reasonable. Fraction of uh, the price for many of the other big name products out there. So without further ado, this is my original picture uh, that I've already imported into PhotoPlus X5. And as you can see, it's it's a bland day out there. It's uh, kind of gray, and the colors are are not are, are uh, faded. Let's just say that. And as you can see, here's the the after. At the very least, the colors have um, been enhanced significantly. Um, I think that part looks better. So, and that's what we're going to do. That's what we're going to work on first is enhancing the colors and the saturation. So we come over to the adjustments section and we go to brightness and contrast and for this one I drag the contrast all the way over to 100 and the brightness uh, some people like to bring it up a bit for this effect but I, I didn't for this picture it just made it seem a little washed out so I just left it as is uh, and then you click back and then I went to hue saturation and lightness and saturation is the one I want and I'm just going to pop that up a little bit. We don't want to go overboard. It's a neat effect, but not the one we want for today. And that's about what I'm happy with. I click back. And now down here, this is the original layer. Uh, two uh, other layers have been created, and we want to merge them together. So press the Shift key on your keyboard and click this layer, the, the original background layer and you'll see all of them get selected. Now let go of the shift key and right click and I want you to merge all. So it merges it all, creates one layer. Now we're going to right click again and we're going to duplicate this layer and the default name is background copy. I'm just going to leave it as is. Uh, you can call it whatever you like. Now with the background copy selected, we're going to right click that and we're going to convert to filter layer. Okay, now we go up to effects and we go down to blur to Gaussian blur. Some people pronounce it Gaussian blur. And drag the slider up to about 30, 29, 30, doesn't really matter and that is now all blurred out. That's finished um, processing. So what we want to do now is go up to layers, down to mask, add mask, and hide all. So now that effect, that blurring is gone, and we're going to use a tool to reveal that blurring, and uh, just selectively though. Okay, so um, I saw another tutorial how I learned how to do this um, and they used a paintbrush and painted back that blurring or painted that blurring back into the picture. Um, that didn't work for me actually. Um, I figured out another way and I used the eraser tool. So you can try the paintbrush but um, uh, I know for me the eraser tool worked. I select eraser brush size is very big you can um, uh, click up and down and change the brush size uh, this way or you can click that and get to the slider that way uh, opacity is uh, the for me the most important part uh, I did about 76 I left everything um, the way it was just the default settings and you can see a big circle on there now so if I left click and drag this around the picture you can see that things start to get blurry and depending on what you're uh, blurring out uh, you can do it very 
um, slowly and and um, precisely. In this case, I'm just going to do like a center focus blur. I like the street lights and the start uh, line in the background there, so I'm going to leave that um, unblurred. And we'll blur the feet a bit. And that's about it. So now there's a very narrow focus in the middle. Um, the goal, my goal, is to draw the attention into that center point. Um, and, uh, and that's that. Now that's not exactly how I did uh, the other uh, example that I showed you. As you can see, I, I uh, broadened the blurring, or excuse me, I broadened the focus area a bit. Um, it's personal preference. You, uh, you decide which one you like better and go with that. And that's it. Once you're done, you can uh, save or export your file and uh, try to rename it something else so you keep the original file intact just in case you want to do it over again or, or you just want to have the original file. Okay, thanks for watching. Please comment below. Uh, please click like for my video and, um, and subscribe to my channel and maybe I will uh, start posting more fun things I like to do that would hopefully be of value to you. Thanks again for watching.